Hello again. There's plenty of wet and windy weather to discuss through the weekend and beyond. The weather remains very boisterous into next week. The first of the wet and windy spells arriving overnight across northern Britain. Heavy rain over western Scotland and Northern Ireland, strong and gusty winds. It'll turn windy further south as well, but clear skies at first, allowing it to turn quite chilly and giving you a decent chance of seeing the lunar eclipse through the evening before the cloud spills in and the breeze starts to pick up. The wet weather will continue across western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland for most of the night. Some of that rain at times getting into northwest England as well. But the bulk of England and Wales will have a dry night. The cloud will continue to thicken and the breeze will be picking up as well. So after things turn quite chilly during the evening across the south, by morning time, well, we're generally well above freezing with some places starting the weekend in double digits. So a mild start in Western Scotland and Northern Ireland, but a pretty wet start as well. The wind's coming up from the southwest. Let's deal with the warnings and those winds first of all. Wind warnings in force over southeast Scotland, northeast England and North Wales. Gusts of wind here, that's the problem. Suddenly whipping up and reaching 50, 60 over hills, maybe 70 miles an hour. Those kind of gusts could cause some disruption. It's not going to be very pleasant driving along the A1, especially in a high-sided vehicle. And then we have the wet weather as well across the borders through the southern uplands generally and across the highlands of Scotland. Through the night and Saturday morning, 60 to 80 millimetres of rain. Some places could see 100 millimetres of rain and that could cause some flooding. So we do have warnings in force. The wet weather will continue to slowly edge southwards. A wet morning for Northern Ireland, turning wetter across northwest England, uh, North Wales, seeing some rain by the end of the morning and particularly into the afternoon. The rain does start to clear from northern Scotland and Northern Ireland and uh, the bulk of the Midlands, eastern and southern England. Actually having a decent day. Yes, it'll be a bit breezy, but we should see some sunny spells across East Anglia and the southeast at times. And it will be quite mild. Temperatures starting in double digits in some places. These will be the uh, max 11, 12, maybe 13, 14 in one or two spots. But as the rain clears, colder air will be pushing in across northern Scotland and the showers will start to turn wintry here. The rain will continue to edge through Saturday evening across northwest England into parts of Wales, into southwest England before midnight, and eventually into East Anglia and the southeast during the early hours of Sunday morning. Clearer skies and colder air will follow behind because this line of rain is a cold front that swings its way across southern areas, could still be across the southeast on Sunday morning, these other little weather fronts will bring a few showers around as well, but that cold front will be introducing that colder air. So if you're up early on Sunday morning, cloud and rain may be across East Anglia and the southeast, and some showers will follow over northern England, parts of the east during the day. The showers over northern and western Scotland, well, they'll be falling to sleet and snow to relatively low levels, certainly across the far north, and there'll be hail mixed in. But Overall, Sunday's a brighter day. Many places seeing more sunshine on Sunday compared to Saturday. But actually, it'll be cooler because we're behind a cold front. So 10 or 11 degrees, maybe early on across East Anglia in the southeast. Most of the day, uh, much of the UK will be in single figures. And it'll feel cold with those showers in the far northwest. The winds will pick up again, it looks like, as we go into the new working week. Uh, potential for some very strong gusts on Monday and next week generally looks very wet and potentially very, very windy. So make sure you stay up to date with all the weather warnings and the very latest. Best way to do that, follow us on social media.